Hello Taurus, we're getting ready to do your first of four weekly readings for the month of May. Let's look at the overall energy. All the cards have been pre-shuffled. Thank you and welcome back subscribers. And for those of you who'd like to get your energy in to this reading with our collective here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you'd be so kind. I hope everyone's doing well and let's see what we have here. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Oh, wow, okay. So clutter is interfering, either mental, emotional, physical, whatever. All right, the first card, the mutual energy between you and a loved person loved one is temperance that is one that can, is oftentimes a card of reconciliation it is in the recent past so it shows that you know you're trying to find peace you're trying to be patient you know she's trying to do her yoga pose keep calm carry on that sort of energy the current energy between you and a loved partner is, oh, beautiful, the star card, really feeling that this is a time of, be, you know, wisdom is really encouraged, you know, clearing out any negativity, any uh, bad habits and ways of thinking. Look at that. You are clearing your energy, Taurus. So how does your person of interest, your love relationship, how do they see the situation currently between the two of you? The high priestess, interesting. They're very intuitive. Your, your person, your love interest, your love relationship, your lover is very intuitive, but they are keeping very quiet. They're watching, they're following their intuition. How they view you, Taurus. How do they view our beautiful Taurus friends? All right, the Eight of Pentacles, you're a hard worker. The Taurus, they just see you as being very um, diligent, very put together, you know, somebody they can count on with all these pentacles. We do have Aquarius energy. The High Priestess is Cancerian. Temperance is Sagittarius. So that's, uh, you know, three major arcanas right here. Very, very good reading. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Love that energy. And that again is Virgo energy. So what is in their heart space for you, Taurus? What is in their heart space for you? Ooh, beautiful Queen of Wands. They are fired up about you. They feel as though you are hot, hot, hot. <laughs> that dragon has smoke coming out of his nose. He sees a beautiful person there. This can be male or female energy, but they see you as sexy and, you know, the prom. You're the queen of the queens. You, you were the qu prom queen. So for many of you, that might be the case, but they're just in love with your image, with your body, with your, you know, with the way you present yourself, that you are magical you're holding a magic wand that you know you have a black cat you have powers and look at she has the same thing so your person feels as though you are really quite all that and more the ace of swords the situation and how they see your relationship moving forward you need to exchange information we're going to clarify all these, but that Ace of Swords is all about telling the truth. So this person's very honest with you. I really like it. It's very important to um, the relationship. It really always clears the decks. This person really sees that what they like about you and what the two of you have is this ability to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, without having it ripple or you know negatively affect your relationship all right so let's see what the hidden energy is here bet between the two of you the hair fent Ooh, both of you are thinking very seriously about a long-term commitment look at the energy right here as you end the week your energy is a lover's card that's very much gemini energy so hair fent energy is taurus so there you are taurus you are in your reading there's that's a lot of major arcanas. This is a beautiful reading. All right. So what is the outcome for the week? What's happening in your world? Let's see with your relationship. The strength card, Leo. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas out of nine cards. Almost unheard of. So this relationship is a significant relationship that in which the two of you are not sure exactly what your future is yet, but you're pretty sure that this is going to be 
um, you know, the destiny of this relationship is really quite good. You're on the same page. A Hierophant card is a very traditional relationship uh, based on similar value systems, whether they be religious or esoteric or whatever. Uh, the Lover's card is Gemini energy. It's also about making choices, but that's a soulmate card. When we get the Aquarius card here, when we get the Star card, that is literally the keywords for that are, you know, your hopes and dreams for love coming true. That's a spiritual love. That's a kind of love that exists and endures. That's a kind of love that you work to get. That, you know, attraction is there. It's really beautiful, but you share the same value system. You're on the same page. So let's see why she is is feeling the temperance why is she feeling this energy all right oh interesting the devil card okay so the devil card tells us that at some point the relationship and this is clearing the clutter there was some toxicity there was some either jealousy or you know just some sort of moves in the relationship that were not healthy why is the devil card here for our Taurus friends friendship okay so the toxicity was friendship clear the clutter okay let's see one more card for that I want to see what else this is aha now we have the knight of swords coming in and saying something bold and truthful all right, so one of the things that I'm seeing here is that the toxicity as I'm seeing this may be the fact that you, if you talk to your girlfriends or your, you know, guys talk to their friends and you talk too much about your relationship, it kind of introduces almost like dirt into the water because you're airing your dirty laundry and you're maybe explaining to your friends what you don't like about somebody and it skews it skews the relationship in that your friends all, you know, they join in, they tell you their opinion, the opinion is never usually good, well, you shouldn't put up with that, you know, blah, 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 blah. And the truth of the matter is that you have a good relationship. And so one of the things that you're going to be cleaning up is the way you gossip and share information about your life. And that shows that you're finding that you have good results with that. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's people who are not having a good time and love themselves will usually throw a cloud. That's that devil energy, you know, like, oh, so-and-so's using you. And, you know, that could have nothing. People say that so easily. That's all. Okay. So, oh, look at beautiful, the transformation. The transformation, this is Scorpio energy. This is Capricorn energy. The Three of Cups is Cancerian energy. And this, um, this is Gemini energy. So this is about communication, communicating with friends. Okay, here we go. Look at that. The transformation to the spiritual realm is by getting grounded and not sharing. You know, we have the high priestess over here. So something that's been discussed with your lover or at least implied or you've learned on your own is that the death of your relationship could come about if you don't stay in a spiritual realm and upbeat about your beloved person. All right, why is the high priestess here? High priestess, why is the high priestess here? Beautiful queen of swords. The high priestess is very wise because she is definitely... Um, the high priestess is intuitive. She can be psychic. You could have telepathic communication because this is your person's energy about how they see the situation. The queen of swords, your person does see you as a person, Taurus, who is very um, almost lawyer-like. This is kind of like, almost like I call it a, a Judge Judy card. You know, if, if this person that you're having a relationship with does not hear the truth, they hear anything sketchy, they would cut you out of their life. All right, so I, I like it, you know. Honesty is a good thing. It's not always easy, but okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles. Your person's also holding on to you very tightly. They don't want to let you go. This is a person who's like, okay, I'm waiting right over here. Let me know what's up. The Seven of Cups. Your person has a lot of opportunities out in the world, but they also see you the same way. You're both very attractive. You're very attractive to the opposite sex. Your person feels as though the timing right now, and to me this is the circumstances in which we're living, um, the timing right now 
is good in terms of emotionally, but it's not so good in terms of practical matters. See, right here. There we have the Geddon, right? We have crazy Geddon. Uh, the world is changing and you know, they're sweeping changes so that although the two of you are in a good place, the world around you is preventing action or choices to be made of a definitive nature at this time. All right, why is the Eight of Pentacles here for our beautiful Taurus friends? Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords. Okay, so now we have the King and Queen of Swords. So you're an intellectual match. You're both very detached at times. You both can look at things, factual situations, and weigh them properly. Um, this can be very cold energy at times, but I don't see it that way in the realm of this, in the context of this relationship. The Hermit card, okay. So it looks as though both of you, I mean, you may be in separation physically, not spiritually right now. So, you know, the Hermit card is Virgo energy and it indicates that you may be home working, you're probably working from home, many of you. Uh, but you might not be seeing it, you know, you might not be spending time together because of that tower card over here. Why is the Queen of Wands here for beautiful Taurus friends? Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords. Ooh, in their heart space, they have worries and fears that you are so gorgeous that, that they're fearful of how attractive you are. So it does show that your person has some fear of making a commitment to you. Hence, we get the slow moving Knight of Pentacles. That at the end of the day, they're very worried that if you, if you wanted to sort of use them and run away from them, that you would be able to do that. Sometimes they worry about that. Okay, but that's a fear. I don't see it as something that you actually do. Yep, here we go. It does show that the two of you right now are in a state of separation. You know, one, well, you can understand this, right? The, the, um, the Pentacles card here. The Five of Pentacles means being left out in the cold. Why is the Five of Pentacles card here? Why is the Five of Pentacles card here? Yeah, the Hierophant. Okay, so one of you may be married, interestingly enough. That's okay. So let's look at that Seven of Swords card. So that kind of opens up a different vista here. So there's two stories going on. There's a really stable, happy relationship. Then we also have um, some of you, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus with Taurus are most likely connected to someone that you're, you're in love with, that loves you. They're in a relationship that is you know traditional um they they feel as though they're they have to sneak around to see you you know this is a card that this person you they feel that you are you've left them out in the cold six of cups of reconciliation so interesting so some of you will be reconciling and that there's been this difficulty about a relationship sometimes some of you might have a third party situation the five of wands shows fighting it clarifies the Ace of Swords. Something was said, probably not all that great. Let's see, why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ah, Two of Cups, ooh. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? The Star card, all right. So we have the star card again. Two of Cups is a bride and groom card, but we have traditional marriage here. Now this is how your person feels in your heart space too. So while there is a subset of people who are seeing somebody or spending time with somebody who's dating, I mean who has a significant other in a traditional relationship in which they're not happy, this person looks like the truth of the matter is, is that they've told you that they may not be able to leave their spouse. They want to come clean with you. They're telling you the truth. They still want you in their life. The emperor, yep. Kind of stuck though. All right, so the Hierophant card. Why is the Hierophant card here? This should clarify some things. Why is Hierophant here? Oh, here we go again. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so even though the energy is hidden, for those of you who are watching this and it resonates with, it indicates that you, you would know that your person is married. Now, if your person is not married, then this is, then they want to marry you 
and right now you're in separation due to crazy getting. All right, let's see why else is the Ace of Swords here? Ten of Swords, okay. So that is an ending to a feeling for a feeling of betrayal, that the relationship fell apart at some point. Why is this card here, the Sun card, okay. Let's see why the Sun card here for this children, pregnant person, pregnant wife, I mean pregnant woman, the high priestess, okay. So what I'm getting is that no matter how much, for those of you who are in a third party situation, what I'm getting here is that you secretly feel as though your person claims to be unhappy as a way of holding on to you. That they do love you, but you feel as though for some of you that, you know, they're, they seem to be very content and they don't wish to leave a marriage that you actually secretly believe that they like being in, that they, you know, that they're lying about it, that whatever they're telling you, because that's a tricky dick card, that's you being left out in the cold, that's them leaving you out in the cold because that's what's in their heart space. They feel left out in the cold by you because, you know, you've had some conflict over here and you've spoken your truth, but, you know, it shows that you truly believe that your person could be the king of cups, somebody who has Scorpio energy, who doesn't really want to leave the relationship. And up here, clearly there was an ending or break in your relationship and you've taken time to get yourself together. All right, why is the lover's card here? This is going a lot longer than I thought. Wow, 16 minutes, okay. So the, the, now we have the nine of cups. So it does look as though sometime this week you may get to see your person that the lover's card indicates that when they leave, because you're alone after they leave, you're very happy, you feel really good, you feel very restored. The strength card indicates though, as, as the week ends, you're also feeling a loss. The five of cups, you feel the loss of this person. Spiritually, they're walking next to you. Spiritually, they're always with you. Again, I believe you have telepathic communication, but now we have we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is swirling around passion, okay? The Eight of Wands card tells me that the physical relationship is so compelling for most of you, the, emo the emotions, the passion, that it does sort of stir up a hurricane because there are times when you really wanna leave this person and yet you feel as though you can't. Now, for those of you who are dating somebody who is not married, the story is really a straightforward love story that says that, you know, you've had your differences, you've had your ups and downs, you've, you've had, you know, these challenges and communication issues because we have communication here, communication here. We have swords, which is communication. You know, we're, we're having, you know, we have the, the king and the queen of swords. So communication has made you feel as though you needed to work more on the relationship. So that, I'm going to take a look at your, the Sacred Destiny Oracle cards for you and see what we have. So there's two scenarios. One is a couple, the one that I think is strongest is a couple that are just really trying to work through the elements of having a good long-term committed relationship in which you have children together, in which you enjoy each other, but there's some problems in the relationship, communication problems. Yep, healing chaos, there we go. So whatever arguments you've had uh, appear to really be resolved. You're in healing, that's what this means, that's what that means. Relaxation, you, have fun, you find time, you're taking time by yourself as she is, right? You have your power back, you feel good about life again. And stillness, okay, so you're feeling as though, yep, with your wisdom, all right. So that looks like a really beautiful, you really have cleaned up, that's what this reading was about is this sort of cleaning up whatever clutter, whatever information you need to know to find your happiness, to find your power, to find your wisdom, and to find a place of peacefulness again. Thank you, Taurus. Take care. Bye-bye.